What we eat and how it's produced matters for the future of our planet. The Food Climate Partnership brings together scientists, policy experts, and others to address the food system's relationship to climate change. The goal is to help develop effective policies and to spread the word that food is a major player in climate change solutions. The food system has enormous impacts on climate change. In fact, over 30% of greenhouse gas emissions come from the food system. Not only from the farms themselves, but also from clearing the land for raising crops and livestock, from processing the food, from packaging, transporting the food, and from retailing the food. Two of the best things that we can do to reduce our climate impacts from food are eat more plants and throw away less food. It's not important that we all become vegetarian, but many of us could stand to eat far less meat and dairy than we're eating today by finding alternative plant foods that we enjoy. Food is a central part of the human experience. We've built a vast infrastructure to produce and distribute food. The food system and the energy system are deeply intertwined. Food and climate impacts go both ways. Climate change has significant effects on the food system. This is because temperatures are already warming in many agricultural regions around the world. Rainfall patterns are changing and there is greater frequency of extreme events such as droughts and floods. These impacts are happening in agricultural regions around the world already, but they are projected to get worse in the future with increasing climate change, especially in developing countries in lower latitudes. Wasting less food is a big win-win. 25 to 30% of total food produced is either lost or wasted. When you take the combined food loss and waste, that totals eight to 10% of total human-caused greenhouse gases. Make sure that you have a plan to use the extra perishable ingredients in your fridge. And remember that meat and dairy also take a lot of resources to produce. So when you throw away your meat and dairy, you're also throwing away vital resources. Reducing meat consumption is definitely necessary if we want to reverse the trends of rising greenhouse gases, deforestation, water pollution, and animal confinement. These food choices are with us every day. Because the food system is a massive contributor to climate change, our actions by changing our food system can have a major effect. Food sector policy should be part of all nations climate action plans. We can reduce food loss and waste with simple policies like changing date labels and public education campaigns to focus on this issue. We can promote climate smart agriculture. We can manage landfills differently so that we gather the methane emissions and use them to produce energy. Ask your grocer if they give perishable foods to shelters and food banks or join a sustainability team at your workplace to help reduce your entire company's carbon footprint. This is why the Food Climate Partnership is focused on food as a climate change solution. The food system is a great way for all of us as individuals to do our part to protect the climate.